Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters. Back at it. Sorry about the Friday day off here. We're live on the Periscope on this Monday night. Uh, but this is the basic Sorgonomics for June 9th, 2015. I hope you guys are tuning in tonight for the podcast party that is podcast day. Uh, so uh, check that out live.sorgatronmedia.com. Starting around 6 30 p.m. and going all night long every Tuesday night. So let's talk about WWDC. The keynote was today. Got to catch a good latter half of it had some meetings to deal with so uh, uh if there's some details i missed when i'm talking about this i'm sure i'll get caught up on the awesome cast uh, i'm sure the entire hour will be dedicated to apple things and i gotta tell you i'm less than impressed i mean i'm not i i'm, I'm not going into this like I can't expect Apple to blow me away every week, every year, right? Uh, I I can't expect uh, uh, you know the one more thing that's just gonna just gonna pull my wig back and just 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 expose my brain to the awesomeness that 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 is Apple. I mean, Apple is really kind of plateaued in a certain aspect there, right? And when it comes to their music offerings and what they announced today, it sounds like just another music service to me. If that's your one more thing. Uh, it's the most depressing one more thing I think I've ever seen from the company. Uh, and, and everybody puts Apple on a pedestal when it comes to these things, of course. Uh, Apple is is the company that could do no wrong. They've done so much wrong. Ping. Uh, was it iPhone socks? iPod socks they did in one year? Uh, but uh, for, for me, uh, I'll probably get another iPhone. It's just that's the cycle I'm in. Uh, we in this conversation has been happening today and on podcasts and on, on Twitter with some friends. And, uh, you know, we're really in that point where our I think the the OSs have matured as far as the phones go. Uh, the iPhones, and the Android devices are what they are. And seeing the parody and announcements, and even they were, they were mentioned on Twitter today about how uh, Siri, they were asking the new the new updates to Siri, they were asking the same questions to it that, that Microsoft was of the new Cortana system uh, all the way back in February, I think they said. So everything is coming together, and there's going to be a very much a sameness no matter what you do. It's just which flavor do you want? And uh, for me, I'm in the Apple camp. I still like Android, uh, but uh, but that's just where I sit right now. And then there's nothing wrong with that. And I don't get sad when when somebody says, "Oh yeah, I got an Android." I was like, "Okay, you know, it's not such a big deal to jump from one game to the other for a lot of people, and as it used to be." You know, even somebody mentioned, I think AJ pointed out today on Twitter, there is an app that will help. I haven't looked into this yet, but apparently there's an app that will move you from your Android to the, your new iPhone and find the comparable apps that you were using on the iPhone for you. That's that's one that's smart in and Android uh, and, and, and Google needs to have one the other way. And I'm really surprised that they didn't. Um, Windows, they could really use one, you know. Uh, there'll be a lot of kind of question mark. Oops, sorry, don't have that yet. But anyways, uh, you know, it's 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 just uh, so so the phones are at that point. The phones are really kind of uh, you know doing what they need to do, and everybody's right that's talking about this that that they need to really kind of uh, uh, buckle down on security, uh, polish the things that they've started over the last year. There was a lot of big 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 changes that some users, especially on iPhone, have not recovered from. I'm not really a fan of the Android L material design situation happening on my Nexus tablet, for instance. A lot of people are really rejecting uh, the changes that came, I think, with iOS 7 uh, that we're dealing with, uh, with the, the whole new look there. You know, I, I pick up my, my iPhone uh, 3GS. I, I still have it in the kitchen for just listening to, to music. And, and sometimes I just like take it on shoots with me just as an extra kind of spare microphone. I can stick up on a podium or something. So it's really nice. So, so I'm constantly going back to that bit there and seeing what it used to be versus what we're doing on, on, on recent iPads and iPhones. Now, what what else are we getting? So uh, there's the, there's the watch. It sounds like the watch is just becoming more mature right off the bat. Rapid rapid updates. It really seems like the iPhone to iPhone iOS two uh, move because you remember the iPhone originally didn't have installable apps, anything like that. It was very kind of locked in. You had what you had. You had a browser, and that was your really only uh, key to the outside world. Uh, the Watch OS 2 is really kind of feels like that, oh, no, we're going to open this up. You can have native apps on here. You know, that's where the exciting things are going to happen for that watch. Hardware-wise, personally, I still want to wait for version 2. 
also very interesting that uh, Watch OS 2 talked about the time uh, function where you, you look through the time of the day and it, it kind of pulls everything from your calendar and makes this nice little thing, uh, a nice little reference for you, which sounds very much like what Pebble Time is doing. Which, and somebody said, again, I think this might have been AJ as well, uh, says, well, goodbye, any any feature that made Pebble Time worthwhile. Uh, but I think there's a lot of still killer features that would make you consider Pebble Time over an Apple Watch. One, a uh, uh, almost $200 uh, price disparity there. Uh, two, I, I, I'm a Pe original Pebble user. I'm a late late to the game. Uh, two, I've been wearing this since uh, about December. And uh, I like I'm still up in the air on the e-paper lasts a long time versus the, oh, I need something, you know, in the vein of an Apple Watch. I, I often see myself uh, looking to the future when one day, yes, there will be an Apple Watch on my wrist. Maybe I'll just wear them both like I did in that picture when I was testing it out a few weeks ago at the Apple Store. If you, you can see my Instagram. But uh, I, I see I see a world where I, where I wear Apple Watch to day to day things. But uh, when I'm I'm you know more a little more playful, maybe a day at Kennywood or something like that, I will be wearing the Pebble Watch uh, just for you know something you know I don't have to worry about because I am accident prone, and that's one concern I've had to watch. I mean this thing's pretty. I mean it's kind of scuffed up. I mean stuff happens to it, and 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 whatnot. Uh, so. So there's the watch, there's the music. Uh, I didn't get to get too deep into the OSX El Capitan, although I'm going to have so much fun with that name in the, over the last uh, year and, or next year and a half, actually forever, because you'll, you'll always reference the old OSXs depending on what's going on. El Capitan. Uh, but anyways, it sounds like that was updates. Uh, I'm really surprised. Uh, we're getting a lot of updates to notes. As I was talking about on Twitter today, I live in notes. Uh, whether it be in a meeting, whether it be, you know, I, I have a Mac in front of me most of the time. You can log in iCloud.com and you have all your notes accessible there if you're not on something that's a compatible device. The only time I'm limited really is when I'm picking up that Android Nexus. And yeah, this is a case of, uh, this is, this is a case of, you know, being locked into a system. And I try not to do that. I, I'm very much a Google services on my iPhone kind of, uh, user as much as I can. I, I'm really, really big on the uh, the uh, the Google Photos, but even like today, I found a thing where, where a certain photo from like a day ago didn't upload to Google Photos, and I'm wondering what happened to it, and and trying to figure out that situation. Um. Otherwise, with iOS, uh, this is I'm not sure, and I've been battling with this. I will probably get. It's I, I'm on the S cycle. I've had the iPhones uh, three, four, and five S's, all S's, and uh, I, I usually pick up that and whatever whatever they have going on there. Just 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 because it's it's due for a phone, uh, especially as as hard as I am on on life and clothes in general. Uh, you know, having a phone for two years, it, it's ready to go. Plus, I'm excited about. The idea that uh, uh, perhaps uh, I could still have this 5S and uh, maybe I won't be passing this one down like I usually do uh, because of distance issues. Uh, and uh, I'll just have another phone in my pocket that I can take video with. Uh, you know, it, it, no matter what I get for the new shiny phone, I'll have this that I can just wipe and just have 32 gigabytes of shoot whatever video I want to do. That's kind of a perspective thing and kind of a... A uh, very uh, new agey problem thing, but uh, I, you know, I, I think I think maybe that that could be an option for that. If I even get a phone, I might just try to stick it out for another year. I don't know. It, it, I'm I'm not sold on it yet, and plus, just getting the money together to do that. Um, but hello from Orlando, Florida, on the Periscopes tonight. So, uh, what else is there? Uh, of course, uh, uh, as I said, Beats music. Not impressed. Like, really, you're going to tell me radio is going to come back and you're going to get somebody who's important, more important than me to tell me what music I listen to? There's a reason why I reject your radio music industry to begin with. And uh, making me pay for it and uh, putting it in, in, and not making it a stream. And 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 it was a lot of... They're, it was a, they're trying to add a lot of polish to a lot of old school ideas. I'm very surprised. I'm surprised and ashamed at you, Apple. Uh, for what we saw today and i'm not really sold on it i will probably try the three-month trial 
And it's one of those where I was considering iTunes Match for a while because I really like the fact that I could say, hey, Siri, let's listen to Insane Clown Posse and it'll pull up the tracks that I own. But I'm really kind of leveled into the Google Music version of that because um, um, I'm feeling lucky mixes are just my lifeblood right now. And and I love that it is just all the music I already own, the, the 20 to 30,000 songs that I have already uploaded to that. And that that's a big... That's a big it's a big uh, uh, game for me, you know, after several years of listening to whatever Pandora told me that I wanted to listen to through algorithms. This is, oh, there's a whole nother rant I could get into here. But this battle against uh, the computer, I, I, I think I think this is the music jocks uh, really kind of uh, uh, trying to fight back on this stuff. It's like an algorithm doesn't can't tell you what you want to hear next because of the drum beat. Like it was so... It was so nose up in the air of a record exec today, and I thought I found that uh, I don't think offensive is the right word, but uh, really off putting. It's like, um, yeah, n- no, no, I'm okay with my Pandora. I'm okay with my Spotify's. I'm okay with this and that and the other thing, because uh, because we have been. You know, nobody needs Apple Music. Nobody needs anything Apple, to be honest. But nobody who's into music needs Apple Music. And you're not making the case for me. And I don't think you're making a case for a lot of people. Although I want to hear Chilla has some positive things to say about that and what he's probably going to consider with that uh, tomorrow on Awesome Cast. You can check out that. A more extensive back and forth. AJ usually has a ton to say about these kinds of things. He'll be joining us in studio as well. Join that live at awesomecast.net uh, Tuesday at about 6.30 p.m. Eastern. We'll be gathering and uh, getting going shortly after that. Or check it out at awesomecast.net and check out everything else going on at sorgatron.com sorgatronmedia.com including uh, talking about Jackie Cincinnati on Sawtooth Willie this week. We're uh, talking social media and mental health over at Seclair.com. That uh, first edition is also posted. And, uh, and and so much more. So much more going on. A lot of exciting things coming up here. And I'm really excited to get that out as well. Uh, so until next time, have a good day and contemplate your thoughts. Be mindful with your thoughts on Apple things. Don't take it too soon. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.